Hello Cancer, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and today we are going to have a look at energies that are surrounding upcoming months, which is July 2022. And this is your birthday month. Happy birthday to you guys. I really hope you have a great, great month. And half a year is gone. How is your half a year gone? Hope it's been great, okay? I really hope it's been good for you guys. Have you checked out your, if this is your sun sign, have you checked out your moon and rising? As I actually noticed that mine lately, the moon sign is actually more accurate for me. It resonates with me much more than the actual sun sign. This is an interesting story here, right? Alrighty. Thank you so much for being here, for spending time with me. And of course, liking, commenting and subscribing. Alrighty. The info, important messages that are coming for you, Cancer, for July, beginning of the month, middle of the month, and end of the month. And from the bottom, I'm going to take three cards that resonates with the message that is coming for you that you need to really double pay attention to. All right, but I will reveal that later on. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. I'm so excited. Beginning of the month for you, Cancer. Whoa, not just action, not just one horse, but two double trouble. What are you up to? You are really action, 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 action for you guys. And it is really paying off. And you know what? Despite that, as any other knights, knight of pentacles takes such a kind of careful steps, careful calculated, but moves on, never procrastinates. And your time, you coming in with this so positive so bang on so victorious and your mindset your attitude is feels like that you are victorious no one nothing can get you off that horse or of the of the path that you are set yourself and this is a beautiful beautiful here you can see on if you can see on a card the ground has been made for um for the seeds to be put in or the seeds already there and it's time for them to come out and grow and then harvest it is whatever you're doing and it feels it's it is general reading but it feels that you're it's very 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 much like career or manifestation orientated not as much relationship and your seeds that you have put in whatever that is your thoughts your energy your some sort of maybe research for something or you've been hunting for new work or something like that it is really starting to pay off there's a journey still to go okay but so far this is a great energy where you are actually in such a great position you are actually in a positive better position than anyone else and this is you are an advantage you are in advantage of success. Keep that mindset. This, this, this mindset is your tool to success. 100%. Keep that successful energy around you. And how not to, not to, you know, that can go away easily. If you let too many people that are draining you, they will try to drain you. So keep yourself to yourself, especially on the project where you are, not there yet and you want to really prosper okay so that's beginning of the month let's dive in what's coming in for the middle of the month oh sudden but right interesting you know what tower could sometimes be very dramatic and looks dramatic but it's this time you literally like gonna be like a jackpot the money is there right having said that sometimes the six and six is very oriented too much orientation on just on the money can slow you down okay but it kind of really feels that things are going really well okay and what is one th one very one important lesson here is building on good foundations uh do not take shortcuts okay and uh, learn the lesson if something goes pear shape, just learn the lesson, move on, don't dwell on it. And so, but there is some sort of sudden, real sudden, actually, money coming in or even explosions happening in your finances, in your manifestation. And this is such a 
great interesting i'm going to clarify the tower for a second aha uh -huh. shortcuts definitely the mindsets can sometimes play some tricks right because five of pentacles is not just being poor it's about feeling left out or feeling too slow that you're maybe going too slow and you want to force it. You want to make it faster. And what that makes you sometimes do is take a shortcut, build a tower on walking sand, on moving sand and be surprised why it's crumbling. Okay, please do not take shortcuts in no, no, um, in no situation, right? And your attitude towards money is going to be very important. If you're focused just purely on the money and you starting to wobble in your head, that can have a really nasty um, aftermath. Focus on the project, what you're doing, what you can achieve and the money will follow. Of course, we need all pay bills and etc. But just the money is not going to lead you where you want to go because you have big, big plans here. You have big plans to go and do. And even though, okay, there is such an opportunity because you started with such great, great ideas, great seed has been planted and carry on. It's just a lesson that is there. Don't let that lesson to knock you down. Get up and move on. Okay, dust yourself off and take that lesson, put it in a bag and you will need maybe that mindset and this situation will remind you and the next time when you need to avoid something like that. Ten of Pentacles is a very abundant card. It's not just about money. It's a, it's about abundance of knowledge. About abundance of communication with people that matter. Okay. Have very valuable contacts as well. And of course, a relationship and finances. Of course. End of month. What is here for you? All righty. Mm, interesting. So it felt like it started with so, so, so big, 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 big. And maybe this lesson here has made you realize that you need to kind of look within and soul search in a ways and not to rush things. And maybe you felt that you were rushing a little bit. And in that rush, you might have taken uh, taken um, turns or... Um, kind of ways too fast and when you're rushing too much maybe you were not clear on the road okay as hermit is always saying do not rush things and especially if you are kind of really focusing on one particular thing and you don't see something else right and we have the four of cups here so something has happened in the middle here that have made you feel a little bit stagnant that you don't want anymore and um, maybe there was a setback but look setbacks happen all the time we can't control what happens in life but we control how we react to that i'm going to quickly clarify here do you know what even though you had the setback and that is normal things happen okay keep your passion for whatever you want to go keep that within you Keep going, keep going, keep going, because you you are on the right path. It's maybe how you approached it at, some, at the times. My had you a little bit knockbacks, but in general, you are on the right path. Keep that hermit here. Maybe you were advised to focus too much on the money. Maybe you advised to, to quick shortcut and make insta money and something like that, or really kind of jumped hoops to get ahead. And now you realize, no, you know what? I have a great idea. I can do it on my own. I don't need so much, too much advice because that advice is really um, probably not the best at the time. And because they have their own opinions and I have mine. And keep your passion for whatever you do. Keep it alive. Keep it alive. What you need to do? What you need to know? Oh, okay. All right. So sometimes it could be that you are quite sensitive to things that are around, right? And you take um, other people's advice very quick, maybe too fast. So if you are set for big goals, for big things, be very mindful of who you share this info with. Because some people might be jealous, they don't want you to succeed. And some people actually 
uh, want to distract you because they want to spend time with you to do other things and now you're going to be doing this big big project right and when you have two pentacles situation you don't can't make decision don't rush things okay you need to maybe take it you will know when you need to take um immediate action but think outside the box if you're stuck sometimes think outside the box and queen of cups is something is, is reminding of this maturity of emotional maturity that you have in your past past that you have from your past experiences use it use it to your advantage because you have loads you have learned a lot right so use that information use that um knowledge that you had all right and so i'm gonna take one card from the symbolisms luck is on your side love to see that love to and i definitely interesting because luck here was if you it looks like a jackpot here right the ten of pentacles and success is there for you success is absolutely there for you along with the lessons right <laughs> but look hey that's how that's how the life is you have a message from heaven i bring you a message from your deceased loved one i'm happy at peace and i love you very much please don't worry about me and this is a message from someone who has passed from your ancestors from your maybe angels from your uh spirit guides they're looking over you they are they just want to send you a um, big high from them okay and keep that victorious badge on you because you are victorious and don't drop it keep the luck lucky luck on your side and everything is going to be just fine wow <laughs> what a reading all righty cancer this is all i have for you today hope you liked it have a great month and i'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.